Hi Tyler, my name is Emily Sterling. I'm your VAP counselor for today. Okay, cool. Is it okay if we talk about some of your job goals today? Sure, I would like to become a designer. I'm making different things for various stores, such as video, um, texting ap applications. That's really what my major focus is. Okay. Um what experience do you have so far with maybe video game development or computer stuff? I don't have really any experience with programming yet, but with me taking general education classes and that's going to help develop the process. Um, especially with me attending the University of Utah, I'm going to take different um, classes that are going to help prepare me and give me that experience for video gaming and other computer related applications development. But up to now I have no experience with computer development or computer gaming. Did you take a lot of, well tell me actually about some of the general ed classes that you're taking now and how they're going. Yes. Yes, I have. Um, they're doing really good. I've, I'm struggling in math, but I do notice some improvement as I continue to work with other math students. I'm really picking up on the information on how to do the math problems. Okay, I think that's a really good goal. What math class is it? Is it a 10-10 class? Um, it's a new class. I think it's a class for our sophomores. Um, but it's Before that, I've only taken really the highest math in high school, but this math that I'm taking is really beneficial to, um, it's going to help me. Yes, it is. Okay. 16 credit hours is a lot. Oh. True, but it's going to help start the process um, so that by the time I'm a senior in college, I won't have to take as much math classes. That's understandable. So the goal then is video game designer and you understand that math is a big part of that and that it's one of those challenges that you're going to have to meet at school. 
Are there other options that you've also explored that might be in the same area that you might like to do? Yes. I haven't really decided specifically what other career goals I would like to, to do. I haven't put any much thought into a lot of analyzing, but I know that I really like technology. Um, that's real video gaming designer. That's really what I want to do and what I've been discussing um, before with several other um, Okay, that's a really good plan. I, I, I'm glad that you've kind of worked it out from the bottom all the way up to the top. And I think it's great to be thinking about some type of plan B that you can also do. Because I don't, I think most people when they go in and they do some type of training in college, they don't always end up staying with the thing that they choose first. Sometimes they find other things that they love to do while they're there. I know I did. I understand. I understand. And it's true. Um, people do tend to take other classes and then switch their major and find something else that they want to do. But if you really find something that you enjoy doing, you enjoy working as a career in the future, then it's important to find that in computer programming is really my specific career goal and path that I really would like to do. I know it's not simple, but it's what I really would like to do. Have you met with an academic advisor about what classes you'll need to take in order to get there? Not yet, but I will eventually do that. Um, When I register as out at the College of South Carolina, I really will discuss that with an advisor there to see um, what all classes I need there. When I transfer, I really had no clue. I know my field is technology, and in all of that, they really.
Okay. It sounds like you've done a lot of research into your goals and that there's some more research that you want to do. And maybe it would be helpful to talk more with the people at UVU about what they require so you make sure all the classes that you're taking count and maybe you don't spend any time on classes that aren't going to be of any use to you. I really appreciate your passion. I can tell you like what you're doing or what you're headed for. I understand. Sometimes I do know that there are going to be struggles and different challenges, but if I continue to ask questions and find out what's required and what's benefit for me, um, and that's really going to support me, then and someone who's going to explain my major, then I know that would really be beneficial to me. And are you getting the accommodations that you need from the School Disability Resource Center? Yes. I, they really provided me with good interpreters. Um, it's really be, and they encouraged me to tell me to really be focused full time and write down the list of goals and things that I want to do and provide them with it and then they can see what is really needful for me and So they can see what I like and don't like. And then they'll perhaps give me feedback on if things that will help me with choosing my career. No, yes. I must be focused. Okay, that sounds rather frustrating. Have you talked to the Disability Resource Center about if you might qualify for a note taker? Not yet, but I will explain to them about my experience. Sounds like in, you're on your path, on your way, getting started. You want to go collect some more information about the future with UVU and also checking in with the Disability Resource Center to make sure that you get the accommodations that you need to be successful.
what we try to do with each client is help them pick a job goal. And that's the very first step. And it sounds like you have that part. And then once we have the job goal, we look at having you do some research to make sure that it's the best choice and that it's going to be a match of your interests and your abilities and also that it's going to match the job market once you get out. So one of the things you're going to be looking at, for example, with game, video game designer is there are a lot of people who want to do that right now. So you want to make sure that when you go through a program, that there's going to be a job waiting for you when you get done or finished. And I know that, I don't know if you're in the research stage still or if, or if we're helping you with school. Which part, where are you at with your folk rehab process? What are you doing with your counselor? Really, we're not doing much. They have not really provided me with information. Before now, they tell me that they're going to email me and explain the different classes that are required for general education or the particular field that's required. But I think it's foolish that it, it, it keeps getting postponed. It, somebody going to help and support and teach me how to save. But Okay, so it was. Okay. Sounds like it's taken. It's been a process to get to the point that you're at now, because you were in, you were in the research phase, and now you've got a plan, and you're just waiting to put it into action next semester. True, that's true, but I haven't yet not really received any option.
six. So it sounds like what you and your counselor are doing right now is kind of making the path that you're going to be following in order to get to that end goal. And one of the, I know that a lot of clients are frustrated when they find that someone else is getting something and that they can't get something or they're getting something that somebody else isn't getting. And it's all based on you. You are unique. Nobody else is like you. Nobody has the same needs. No one has maybe even the same interests. And all of these things that make you is the reason that book rehab services are individualized. It's all about you. So did that, I don't know if that helped explain the process any more to you. Do you have further questions? No, I just really want to say thank you for helping me and explaining everything to me. Sounds like maybe we can make a follow-up appointment to finish our job development and, and maybe talk about what you might find it when you meet with an advisor at UVU. Is that okay if we end for today and schedule a follow-up? Okay.